recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show, starring William Montgomery, with the Tony Chin Orchestra, the William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is, the big red machine, William Montgomery. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, William. How are you today? Pretty good. Ate some Taco Bell last night. Yeah? It's good to see you and Erica. Taco I know. It's nice to see you, too. How's the desert where y'all went in the desert? We went out into I went out into the desert with some people. How was that? Did you end up taking the, all those mushrooms I saw bagged up before you left? <laughs> the eight hundred glow sticks. Yeah, y'all had yeah. glow sticks and mushrooms. We had mushrooms. We had eight hundred glow sticks. We used four hundred of them. We left four hundred for the next people that come into the. Place. Damn. Yeah, it was fun, man. It's a. Uh, it's nice to get out there in the you know under the <laughs> moonlight and dance around like a crazy person how was it were you, did you have a good generally good time yeah yeah it was really good did y'all try to climb up that mountain again where uh, Carrie almost died no we did <laughs> not some other people went out there it's uh the whole place is out in death valley so yeah. it's really crazy uh it's really hot during the day it's beautiful at night stars like there's no you can you can walk away from the campground down the highway a little bit and uh there's nothing. So, like, you can see the stars are amazing. You can see everything. You see satellites yeah, cool. going overhead. You can see it, the Milky Way. You can see it all. So, it's really cool. It's a good time. You'll have to, you guys will have to come next time. We're, We'd well, love I'd to. I'd love to. Erica has a bunch of acid in our bathroom, so we could bring that <laughs> along. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. also, for those that don't know, I guess Mike finally got COVID. I think, is that what happens? <laughs> that so must we have be a new why guy, he's Grant, here. today. Yeah, yeah my grand. I already like the desert background. That seems fun. <laughs> he's, al he's already better than Mike. He's he's been on the job fourteen seconds. Yeah, Mike creeped me out. What do you <laughs> think about Mike? Mike, he's the best. Okay, just wonder what's your story. What uh, what <laughs> story? What do you mean? Origin story. What's or your just? What? I was born in Kansas. <laughs> I'm not really sure where to go cool. with it. What, what's your story, Grant? What sort of lame ass podcast do you have? <laughs> oh yeah, I have a couple of lame podcasts. That's yeah. true. Uh, I'm sure really? Mike already talked about the Star Trek one. Yeah. He did. Oh, are you on that? I'm also on that. With Love them. it. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. I also do a beer one. I talk about beer. Nice. Love really? It. Now you've got my interest peaked. Yeah. What deer like the animal? <laughs> <laughs> you have a deer podcast. Beer with a B. Oh, beer. Bucks and does <laughs> with Grant. <laughs> <laughs> What's his next one? Cool, that's fun. Yeah, we need to come out to the desert though. It'd it was a fun. lot of fun. We do it. We do it at least once a year. So we'll sure uh, get you guys out there next time. How was the one restaurant in town? It was great. It was like they weren't open the whole time because it's been really. See, the thing is, this place gets a lot of uh, international tourists, believe it or not. Yeah. People come from Europe and they want to like check out Death Valley and they'll do like motorcycle tours and, sh and shit across Death Valley. But that's not happening because of COVID. People in Europe have to uh, do like a 14 day quarantine when they go back. So people aren't Yikes. coming here right now. So it's been tough for the for Panamint Springs. That's the name of the place we <laughs> go. But it was open a couple of days. So the first couple of days, we just kind of had to fend for ourselves. But it was great. Whoa. I saw a uh, scorpion, a big giant scorpion Whoa. scurrying across <laughs> the rocks in our camp. We caught it and set it free outside the uh How big was camp. it? Like maybe about four inches long. It was a big one. For Seems scorpions, like that's pretty big. Yeah. It was pretty scary. And then we were like, oh, shit. And we, we dealt with it. And then about 10 minutes later, uh, our friend Tracy was like, hey, check it out. Right in the same spot, a big-ass tarantula about the Yikes. size of your hand. Yikes. That sounds yeah. bad. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a scorpion or a tarantula in the wild. Look yeah. at that scorpion <laughs> thing. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, it was big like that. It wasn't that color. Was it like but it was scary, and they, you know, all the desert people out there. We some of the desert, uh, some of the folks that uh, work there were just hanging out with us because they don't get hangout times yeah. very often. 
But they were like just completely unaffected. They're like, yeah, scorpion, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I guess you get used Tarantula, to Tarantula, like, yeah, I let it walk up my arm. It doesn't matter. It won't bite you. I'm like, Yikes, fuck you, bro. Do that. <laughs> Not doing that at all. How, did you visit the Hills Have Eyes town? Uh, I didn't, but uh, some of my friends did. Uh, Andy Andrist and uh, Annie Letterman was out there. They all went there. <laughs> That so sounded they got, scary. Mm-hmm. They got some pictures. Love it. It creeped uh, creeped them out a little bit. It's Love wild because it. it's a. It seems like a ghost town, but there are like fifty people living there. They just never come out of their houses. Yikes! <laughs> and there's no road to like. There's no like real access to this town. Well, look at that one. That's a good. Is that the original? The hills have eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Is that's that, that guy? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's the original hills have eyes guy. <laughs> wonder how he's doing we we <laughs> just discovered the uh girl that fell in the well we found her tiktok <laughs> baby jessica yeah we found baby jessica's tiktok <laughs> or we found her on tiktok she's still around we need to try to get her on this yeah what's she doing on tiktok i think it was a tiktok about her <laughs> oh i oh, was that what it was yeah. <laughs> But it was was funny. It popped up. I've never seen what she looked like. I didn't know what she looked like. She seems more like a Snapchat kind of gal, Mm -hmm. TikToker. She does. (laughs) Grant, have you ever seen your private parts on a Snapchat? I haven't. I I don't want to. (laughs) You can think about it. I used to. (laughs) Oh, you did. What's your Snapchat? Like butthole stuff. What's my Snapchat? (laughs) I can't say it on here right now. Butthole stuff. Butthole shit. <laughs> butthole stuff. We went to the damn uh, Randall's the other day, and we got a little cactus. And Erica warned the lady working at the thing. She's like, "Watch out, we Be have careful, a cactus yeah. in here." And then the lady proceeds to grab the cactus with her hand, <laughs> and I screamed. <laughs> And then she's looking at her hand. She's like, I can't afford to have any days off. Oh, no. Like, like, it was that bad. You. I think it was fine. Yeah. She said, oh, it's soft. I don't see anything in my hand. But you told her. I was like, please be careful. I have a cactus. And she went hand first. Oh, and this one? She just grabs ah! it. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed so stupid. It seemed totally ridiculous. <laughs> totally ridiculous. We're flying. I can't believe it. Flying out today to Eureka. California. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. There's a uh, a comedy festival happening up there, and the two guys who are in the comedy scene don't like each other, so they're having rival comedy festivals at the exact same time. Nice. So we'll see. So I'm on one of those. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. So you're just on one of them. You can't do both. Correct. I have buddies on the other one from Denver, but yeah, can't do both. The guy, he picked us up last year and he had gotten like a DUI the night before. <laughs> and he's buying us whiskey shots <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is yeah, going on it here? It definitely sounds like a guy putting on a comedy show. <laughs> yeah, right. That is straight out of central casting. Oh my God, it was totally ridiculous. Peter Nelson. Yeah, <laughs> That's the guy's name. He seemed real nice. He was nice. Yeah, we'll see That's how fun. that shit goes. <laughs> what about your, uh, let's hear about your Taco Bell experience last night. You went to Taco Bell last night? That's yeah, I went exciting. there. We've been watching a ton of Wife Swap. You ever <laughs> watch Wife Swap? Not for years. Is it, yeah, I, I think, think we've I watched, used to watch that a little bit. I think we've watched 25 episodes in the past three days or something. Mm-hmm. It's always a strict person and not a mm-hmm. strict person on the other side. It seems like it's all pretty similar. It, different extremes. It's different extremes. I'd yeah. like to go on wife swap. Would you ever go on wife swap? Sure. Why not? Are you ever? Are you? Maybe gonna... we should uh, wife swap uh, Erica and uh, Carrie Mitchell. Oh my gosh, do an episode so of our own little wife swap. Whoa, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of person uh, my partner Carrie Mitchell is. She made a to do list for herself. This, I saw it this morning when I got up. She had a to do list. And number three on the list was rolled joints. Love it. In case she forgets. <laughs> it really? I love it. In case rolls. she forgets to roll joints. That's, That's funny. So, I yeah. like that. <laughs> That's funny. I She's love She's pretty list. chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I do need a haircut. Funny. So <laughs> this whole go. thing could work out nicely. There you go. I know it could. Yeah, I have to get a haircut. My hair's starting to look crazy. And I think it accentuates my baldness when it starts getting longer. And. My fucking mustache is all in my mouth, and then Erica refuses to trim That's it for not me. That's true. 
Yeah, I ask him every day, can we cut? Do you want to do your mustache? You want to cut your hair? And he'd be like, oh, no, no, later. Oh, no, tomorrow. It's him. <laughs> he cancels on me all the time. Well, we have to do it today. Do you, do you shave his back? He's actually not that hairy. Yeah? Yeah. That's always a big, exciting day around our house. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Carrie's like, you want me Monthly? to do your back? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then she stands back there with the electric. Oh, nice. Just an electric one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How That's often fun. do you have to shave your back? Uh, it doesn't have to be very often, but if we're going anywhere, like if there's like a if there's a, a swimming pool situation happening, there's going to be a shirtless situation. You she likes it? to make sure that I'm not. How hairy does it get? Not that. It's not that bad. Is it hairy you right know? now? I don't think think it's too do you have hair. tattoos on your back no just on your arms just on my arms would you ever get one on your back sure i was gonna get a uh... <laughs> look at that hairy back that's a good one i'm not that bad you, you just get off the length yeah yeah it just after a couple of weeks or some you know it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit yeah but that's how you know your partner really cares about yeah. you i agree i always i'm always trying to back. beg I get her to shave my pubes. I can shave my pubes sometimes. <laughs> Talk about back hair. I remember in high school, I used to get these hairs on my back that were like four inches long. <laughs> Just like one hair. <laughs> my friend Alex would always yank it out when I was showing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'd show everyone and then he'd come what? and yank it out. Why did you get one single back I don't hair have that any just like idea. all your back hair coalesced into one? Follicle. It's, it seemed like it. It would literally be one hair and also my eyebrows. Sometimes my eyebrows, oh, one or two of them get real eyebrows. long. He has, he has a couple long ones on each brow. And then my nose hairs get real long. So, but since I've stopped doing cocaine, it's not as... I think that was doing something to my nose hairs. So they'd get real long. You think the cocaine was like steroids for your nose I hairs? I think it was. I've thought about that. I totally think it was. <laughs> now that I haven't done it in five months, it's not the same. My nose still hurts a little. I wonder if my nose will ever get better. Yeah. I literally hurt my nose. Coke, you had Coke nose? Yeah, it started to hurt. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes when I eat food uh, and like I laugh or something, like out some food will come in my nose. I'm like, did I deviate my septum? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what that means, though, but I wonder if that's what it is. Well, yeah, cocaine can like wear a hole through the I wonder separation if I and then... Like it'll make a like a whistling noise back there. You, know, you don't want it to. Yikes! Will it really? Yeah. Just when you're breathing? Yeah. Good. Oh God. Well, it's good. I stopped what I did. I still have some in my closet for a rainy day, but we're not going to do that. Now that's always good to hold. That that proves that you're able to not do it. I know. That's what I think. Yeah. I agree. And. You never know. I mean, you might wake up one day feeling great, haven't had a drink of alcohol, no cocaine in months and months and months. You flip on the TV, and Biden is announcing that we've launched the missiles to Russia. The missiles from Russia yeah. are coming back our way. Everyone's got 45 minutes to live. Then it's you... time to party. <laughs> I'd bust it out then. I probably would bust it out then. Yeah. Start making phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would always do. I think it'd bother you... Erica a bunch. I'd just start calling people. Not the calling. It was the um, his volume. He doesn't know his own volume. I'm He's like that, too. Yelling on start the phone. Start talking real loud. At five yeah. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you call at the apocalypse? Mom and dad? Ooh, good question. Uh, yeah, I'd probably talk to them, see how they're doing. Get a few more of dad's jokes run by you. Get a couple <laughs> more of his jokes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I would always go down my phone list at like three in the morning and I'd call people and I'd mess with people. And <laughs> I'm sure people were like, what is wrong with William? William's not doing good. <laughs> Why does he sound all fucked up calling my ass at four in the morning? And you, is it... There was only a few couple friends that were like on his level. Uh -huh. Remember the one that would always talk about his Nas tank he had? He's always in the presidential suite, always fucked up. Who was that? I don't know. I don't well, know. Nas he doesn't even remember talking <laughs> to this guy. I don't remember talking to a lot. I talked to one guy and told him I was trapped in an underwater cavern system in middle Tennessee. It was bad. And it was somebody, I thought he was somebody else, but it turned, I don't know how I had the guy's number, but it was his name and that guy's actual number. 
and I call him on a Monday night at probably two in the morning and I tell him I have some elaborate story about how I'm trapped in an underwater cavern system <laughs> in middle Tennessee. And he somehow uh, figures out uh, my parents <laughs> and uh, I get a phone call from my mom at probably five in the morning and it's a uh, – a black lady police officer on the other end of the line. The police were called to my fucking parents' house yep. and they were all worried a bit that I was really trapped. And I was like, oh my God, I was just <laughs> joking. I'm not actually trapped. Yeah. First off, I don't think you can get cell phone service in an underwater cavern <laughs> system. It seems like you'd hear water droplets and stuff. What a great advertisement for T-Mobile. We can yeah. reach William. <laughs> It was horrible. My dad's like, what, were you on mushrooms? And I was like, uh, yeah, because I didn't want to tell him I was all high on blow. <laughs> it was bad, and I remember my dad, he started crying a little bit because he was like, I really thought something was horribly wrong. And then I remember speaking with my freaking mother, Frances, and she didn't sound all that sad. <laughs> it almost sounded like she was a little disappointed. Yeah. There wasn't some horrible disaster. And I could be wrong about that, but it almost, I thought she would have well, been a little more sad. Imagine, you know, she might have, you know, maybe she didn't wish ill upon you. But remember I'm sure when, not. Remember when the, uh, that little, uh, little boy soccer team from Thailand got stuck in the caves? Yes. Oh, no. It was international news for, you know, 10 days. I remember maybe that. maybe Francis Montgomery was you know hoping for a little bit of CNN camera That's time. That's what maybe, I was thinking. You know, and now she got like did her hair, she's looking all good. She's going out to meet the press. There was yep. no cavern. Yeah, it was so weird. And then the guy, I like texted the guy. I kind of can't remember. <laughs> I was all fucked up, and I was like, "Why did you call my parents? Why did you get the police at my parents' house?" <laughs> He's like, well, I really thought you were trapped or something. I was like, dude, what is going on? It was bad. Can we call him? I wish I could remember. <laughs> I mean, the number's totally still on my phone. It would be fun to call the guy. I could maybe figure it out. I'd have to swipe through names on there. Just call him every time you call him. Tell him you're trapped oh, no. in underwater in the cavern <laughs> again. I can't believe I did it again. We need to find the guy. I need to. I'll figure him out. We'll we can call him sometime. That would be fun. It was a disaster. I remember being a little boy one time that when we were playing outside, and then I, uh, when they were calling us in for dinner or something, I hid in the bushes. And then I remember watching my parents walk out and like yelling my name and everything. And I remember feeling kind of excited when I was watching them. Yeah. Because they didn't know where I was, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know where my ass was. Well, it's, you know, that can turn on you. You know, because <laughs> you can be like hiding right there and they can be yelling, <laughs> William. And then, you know, there's no answer. And then all of a sudden, under their breath, they're like, thank fucking Christ. I know. Yep. And then, whoops. Yep. You found out a little too much truth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that's like when I found it with the, the parents thing. It really, my dad started crying a little and I felt horrible. And then my mom, she it was a totally different tone. Was strange. Yeah, she was probably pissed. <laughs> yeah, she was probably angry. She but... might have also known this sounds like some typical, typical William, William. Yeah, right. Fauntroy Montgomery hijinks <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my William. dad was like, it's hard to believe. I didn't really think you were in there, but I thought something had happened. Uh huh. So who knows? It was a disaster. <laughs> and yeah, it's five in the morning, and I remember asking him, What are you on mushrooms? <laughs> And I was like, uh, yeah, because I was scared. <laughs> what are you, a jellyfish? Yeah. That's what should have said back. Yeah. It was a disaster. That's when I was living with Angie Hernandez in Hollywood. She was a crazy Latina girl. It was a cool spot, but yeah. It was a cool spot. She had a little badass cat. I remember the cat. <laughs> she got it, and then I would come home from work, and then one day his food bowl and water bowl were just gone, and I was like, uh, where's the cat? She's like, oh, I don't know. It just left. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? And I was out back smoking where I would go like four days later. And I hear a little meow noise and he had been chilling underneath the building for like four days. And but she, she didn't had already see... packed him up. Thought yeah, she had already packed here. his ass up. There's the cat. <laughs> it kind of looked like that. 
So did you get the cat out? What happened with? Yeah, she ended up getting the cat out. Is it was cat bad. Be okay. Yeah, the cat was all right, and then she got a weird boyfriend, and the boyfriend was always over there, and then they would get in giant fights. You found a boyfriend under the house for four days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh my god, they get in these horrible fights, and we wonder where they are now. But they're they don't have social they don't have social media, media so, so I can't annoying. figure out where they are. Huh. It was very bizarre, and the final straw was she was gone after a big fight, and, and he was like there, it. and then we ended up doing drugs. We, sm we smoked a joint with her boyfriend, and she texted him, you guys were talking about me, and you made him do drugs. He smoked a joint. And well, we were also doing some keep ups in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah, we were doing a little cocaine. Uh, <laughs> there he is. But, yeah, she's like, you have a month to get out. And I was like, she what? She kicked you out for that? Oh, yeah. She's like, you have a month to get out. She ran out because we walked in. We were just stopping in for a little bit. I don't even think we were there that long. Uh, and there was glass all over the floor, and his feet were bleeding. Yeah, she had thrown some like. And we cleaned it up, but she didn't like something. that we were there because she stormed out, and we were talking about. It was her. horrible. Man, we were talking drama. about her, asking. We only asked what happened, and she didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, it was the second place I lived. The first place I lived was down in uh, Compton. <laughs> My buddy in Denver said, "Oh, he has a place in L.A.," and I was like, "Oh, cool." He's like, <laughs> "Give me four hundred bucks the first month." I was like, "This is great," and then I make it down to Compton, and I'm like. Oh my God! <laughs> I just stood out, so a I got on. Bit. I got on Craigslist and found the place in like four days. The first place I went to, the guy seemed like a total creep, and it seemed like he was going to scam me or something. Mm -hmm. So it scared me, and then I ended up with Angie Hernandez, <laughs> which was all right. The who park was, who was fake married, remember? Yeah, she married some Arab guy so he could get a green card. Really? Yeah. That probably was uh, lucrative for her. It could have been, yeah. The yeah. guy would come by, and it seemed like he was weird about me at the beginning, thinking like I was talking to it. Like, you got some weird vibe from the guy, like some weird... It was, the whole thing was weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, back in the cave system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Mike would have done that. I wonder where where is Mike? I think he's sleeping. Well, Certainly. that's good to fucking know. <laughs> yeah. He just slept in it. No, seriously, that's good to know. I actually, uh, I, I'm not sure what else he's doing. I think he's got some work thing. Oh, okay, okay. As if this is not a real <laughs> job, being a part of the William Montgomery yeah. show. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll talk to him. We'll have some sort of a conversation with him. We all need to go to Dave and Buster's or somewhere. Mm -hmm. We haven't been there in a while. It's been a while. Yeah. We need to do some uh, D and B. We need to uh, hit a flea market. Oh yes, have to do a flea market. An estate sale. A s has have to do an estate sale. Have to do some antique. How long malls. are you guys going to be in uh, California? For three Thursday days. Thursday to, to Sunday. Okay. It's going to be cold and rainy. <laughs> That's what it is. The first day we drove into Eureka last year. Some homeless lady punched some guy off a bike. <laughs> and we thought, this is, seems like a weird place. <laughs> we had driven for like 10 fucking hours. And yeah, just see that right when we drive in. It seems like that'd be a horrible place to be homeless up there. It's yeah. I think it's sort of cold and rainy all the time. Yeah, it's a different thing than Southern California, for sure. It's just totally different. Uh-huh. And you saw a homeless lady. And a guy riding by on a bicycle? Yeah, just minding his own business. Yeah. She and then she just knocked it. his ass off. Punched his ass and he <laughs> fell off the bike. <laughs> it was so weird. It was very weird. And we stayed in like this haunted. It's not haunted. It seemed haunted. A haunted hotel. It's like this very it's old hotel. Old. It's haunted. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Did you see anything there? Shit, I have been in our apartment recently. <laughs> yeah, shadow just people Just more shadow still? people. Yeah. God, I talked about that oh, on. Yeah, you should have it. seen Kill on. Tony talked about Kill Tony, people. yeah, and then it just was like disaster. It was good. He <laughs> I took was a mental health day on Tuesday. I was like, "This is fucking it." <laughs> He's like, "I'm, I'm going not back doing to it Memphis. no more." This, this was horrible. <laughs> oh, really? oh, oh yeah, I felt horrible. But this is what happens when I'm not there at Kill Tony. It really is. And then I made a dig at David. I had a little roast against David about him stealing jokes. Totally kidding. Uh oh, a part of his minute. It was. Good. But it's funny. Last night we were talking, and Tony was like. Why'd you do that? 
<laughs> and I was like, uh, I mean, I was expecting him to be there. I was expecting to start a riff with him. Uh huh. A ref, is that the word? A beef with him. Why did I say ref? I was expecting to start a beef with him, and his ass wasn't even there. So I just took a pretty heavy hit at him when he wasn't even there. That's hilarious. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, the set seemed horrible. Was I was talking fa- about shadow people. There were two He's a hard black guys on the panel, and then they were acting like me talking about shadow people. It was me talking about black people, and then I was kind of going with it, but then... They would not go with it, and then I felt like, am I being racist up here? It was the whole thing seemed bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a joke about Barbie being from Arkansas because she married Ken. <laughs> trying to insinuate Ken folk, and it did not go well. <laughs> Nobody she laughed. Mar- she married her Ken? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, what? Yeah, it got not the any laughs. It was horrible. The best thing that can happen at a comedy show when you're on stage is that your joke bombs. I'm not even kidding you. It's really? Well, best. that happened. Because because your reaction to it is always <laughs> hilarious. So yeah, It was horrible. So I had to take a mental health day on Tuesday. And and then Joe Rogan hit him up to open for him, and I was like, "You better go hop in the shower." Couldn't have gone too, too terribly. Yeah, if, uh, I know. Yeah. So that was good. It was a change of emotions. Yeah, it seems like the comedy stuff, at least in my crazy head, it's just a bunch of ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. It's mountains and pla- plateaus, or not plateaus, mountains and <laughs> valleys. Valleys. <laughs> <laughs> Mountains plateau wouldn't valleys. be quite as bad. I know, it's a plateau like would be all right. Yeah. yeah. That's what you want to do. You want to get your comedy to the point where it's just mountains and plateaus. Totally. Bring up the floor a little bit, you know? Yep. <laughs> I was in Death Valley on Tuesday, just sulking on the couch. I got my sleeping bag out. I was laying in the Is that what you do bag. when you have your uh, your own mental health day? You get a little Linus blanket yeah. to cuddle up with got and... my sleeping bag i was watching fucking wife swap all day <laughs> just like this is a disaster this isn't gonna work Moving back i have to, to memphis. move back <laughs> yeah Always. what kind of job am i gonna get in memphis work at the amazon factory humping a forklift around <laughs> yeah when i moved back to memphis from new york when i was drinking too much there it was bad. I applied for a bunch of fucking jobs and I never got a job. <laughs> I was like, this is horrible. Wait, so you, moved, you moved from Memphis to New York. Yeah, like 2011. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The comedy was going pretty good, but I was only up there for six months. But I, uh, <laughs> yeah, when I moved back to Memphis, I was applying for like regular jobs and stuff. Like, and, no way, bro. Yeah. <laughs> even at like little places, I just couldn't get a job for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. It was because of how I was answering interview questions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if red flags were going up because sometimes I would think an interview went pretty well, but I'd never got a call back. I don't know. It's all probably for the best, I guess. They didn't get locked into some fucking little at, little job yeah. there. I don't know. At the time, it was hard. So I was thinking, I'm not going to be able to fucking I'm getting older. I'm not finding a job this go around. Yeah. All, all the dreams off. of you know being a lawyer <laughs> and the being a politician, they're gone. Yep. Now you're just hanging out in Memphis. Yep. Yep. Just Working at Chick Fil A. Yep. <laughs> just scoping out the bridges to jump off of. <laughs> they have the big M bridge over the Mississippi River. That'd probably mm-hmm. be a good one to That'd be jump the one, off right? Of. Wouldn't find my carcass for probably weeks <laughs> or months. Maybe I'd make it down to New Orleans. Float? You think you'd float all the way down? Yeah. How far do you think you'd float down if you jumped like? <laughs> In Memphis in the Mississippi River and you drowned, I wonder how far you could make it down. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if you could make it to the ocean. <laughs> or do you sink? I don't think you sink. Don't you float? You you, you sink and then you float back up because all the gases in your uh, in your body start to oh, right, make you all right. puffy. And then that that's why when you murder someone, you got to chain them up and tie them down really good. You know? Do you, yeah. Yeah. Then they always float up anyway and they bust you. Because you got your fingerprint on a piece of the duct tape you used to wrap them up to the... Exactly. And then they're like, busted, bro. Exactly. Forensic files. 
I love forensic files. Man, they have yeah. all of those damn things on what Hulu or something. Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Netflix. I fall asleep to forensic files. Yeah, it's comfort. That's weird, oh, really? right? Is that weird? No. We whenever we go to Vegas, hotels, yeah. that's all we watch. Mm-hmm. They're always forensic on at files. Hotels. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. gosh, my friend Alex Rayner, his uh, cousin got murdered in Memphis Sunday morning. Sunday morning? Yeah, like at five forty a.m. A burglary, and they caught the guy. Oh shit! They somehow caught the dude. And it was some nice guy who I met at my buddy's wedding in Vail, Colorado, two months ago. I had a nice conversation with him for like 10 minutes. And he got murdered? He got murdered. For a cell what phone. The... He couldn't remember his uh, iPhone password or something to disarm the uh, find my iPhone. Or That's what I heard. And the guy shot his ass and shot the girlfriend through the hand. So I wonder if she Holy was like trying to block shit. something. Shit. Mm-hmm. I know. Wow. Memphis is dangerous, apparently. Let's do a rest in peace for Drew Rayner. What was that? A little prayer? That was, yeah, I just get a little head bow. That was sweet. Did you do a prayer? <laughs> <laughs> Erica doesn't pray. That scares me. I don't pray. You don't pray? No. What's his name again? Grant. Grant, do you pray? Nope. Why not? Do you not believe in God? N- nah. How come? I, I was raised Catholic. Okay. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> Erica doesn't believe in God either. I moved past it. Do you believe in God, Brad? Sure. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And also, there's the Memphis Bridge. It's cute. That's a pretty bridge, man. It's a good one. It's right next to the uh, pyramid where there's a giant Bass Pro Shop now. Really? Yeah, they did the <laughs> pyramid. Wasn't it like a casino or something? Basketball? Where they play oh, basketball, that's... like Memphis State basketball. Oh, really? That was like an arena in there? Uh-huh. In the pyramid? I saw Michael Jordan play in there one time. But yeah, it's the, now it's a giant bass pro shop. They used to have a funny bone on the uh, on Beale Street for a sh- real short time. I played there a couple times. Oh, really? Yeah, way back in the day, like 2007, 2008, oh, really? back in that time. Yeah. I didn't realize that. It was only for maybe a year, a year and a half that it lasted. How was it? Were people in the audience and stuff? It was, it was fun. I mean, I loved going there because, yeah. you know, the town is fantastic. We used to go hang out at this place called Rayford's. Oh, my gosh. I love Rayford's. <clears throat> Rayford's. Hollywood was Rayford's. Crazy, man. It was insane. I had never, at that point, I was just <laughs> a, you know, a Midwest kid who, to me, I, I moved to Peoria. And that was the big city, you know? Yeah. Holy shit, the big city. Yeah. So going to a place like Rayford's where it's just like a, a, a hip, chill, kind of pimp old black guy who turned his house into a bar and he sells only 40-ounce bottles it's of beer. still only 40s, <laughs> yeah. I'd always I was be like, drinking those 40s. And there's dry ice everywhere and it's just like- Were there balloons all on the ceiling? Yeah, maybe. It was yeah. the whole thing was just this- you know, it's like I, I felt like a kid feels walking into the Pirates of the Caribbean ride <laughs> yeah. at Disney World. You know, it was just overwhelming. I was like, I'm going to get laid. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it was cool. I, it's, that was my favorite thing about Memphis was Rayford's. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't go to the original one. They changed the location. But I always heard of the original one was so great. That might have been. You probably the, went to the original been. one. I, it was a house. They're like, oh, it's was not it? even like yeah, a I didn't bar. Go to that. It's like somebody's house. It's like the way they turned the, uh, you're here in Austin, the way they turned all those old crack houses mm-hmm. on Rainy Street into bars. Yeah, all those crazy bars now. Mm-hmm. Rayford, I think he had jerry curls and stuff. Oh, he, he was the he was the real deal, man. Yeah. We need to give a moment of silence he, to Rayford. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, kind of looked like him, I think. <laughs> it's not far I, off. I think. And then he was just. You know, just that show came up. Yeah, (laughs) Memphis Rayford. Yep. See. Oh, really? I wonder. I thought that was Charlie Murphy. (laughs) Didn't it look look like like Charlie (laughs) Murphy? Maybe that's Hollywood Rayford. Now his wife runs it. Yeah. And it's all cash. Yeah, it was all cash, and it's just white kids just giving their cash. Just a bunch of white kids. Right. Right. Perfect. (laughs) Oh, I know. It was like his. He was doing his own reparations. Exactly. Yeah, like, I'm going to fucking get this money. Good for him. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, Rayfords. 
Yeah, I when I was in Memphis, the only club was a uh, all African American club. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to even think of what it's called. I never went there, not for any reason. I just never went. I would go to some open mics sometimes where I was the only white person there. Clicks Billiards Hall. Yeah, it was an open mic at a Clicks Billiards Hall. Yeah, it was always fun. Just pretty different. Mm-hmm. I always cool. like doing shows for predominantly black audience me too i totally enjoyed it it's a different vibe they got a different thing and you have to just if as long as you just aren't afraid yeah good yeah which seems like something that should be easy to do you know what i mean like right but that's when you're confronted with your own you know preconceived notions and your own racism hits you in the face like right why am i treating why why am i more scared because you have these things you didn't even know you had. You right. Know, and you got to deal with them right now. Totally. So. I hear, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. It was, uh... hold on. So, <laughs> what's his name again? Grant. <laughs> Grant, you're going to be able to edit this out, right? I for... I have, you're going to be able to edit this out, right? <laughs> What am I editing out? <laughs> I mean, I'm kidding. I'm just, go- I'm goofing. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I-, I can edit whatever out. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about this part. You have to edit this part out, please. Gone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the show today. Do you have a, do we have a guest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think Megan is still, still talking to her. Megan Markle, not. Yeah, she's not here today. Well, see, now, this probably isn't her fault because the last time we were here, she wasn't able to make it in because she had to do the Time Magazine thing. Hundred most influential yeah, dipshits in the stupid, world, right. which is stupid. But whatever. Look, she's got yeah. a lot of obligations now. Yeah, we get that. that yeah, uh, fine, fine. And she said next week for sure. But then uh, we had to move our recording time because yep. uh, uh, our studio here had uh, some sort of issue. They wouldn't explain. Yeah, to I us. wonder what that was. Yeah, I kind of wanted to talk to, to Mike about that. They wouldn't today. tell us what it was. They were very elusive. It seemed weird. It's, so then we had yeah. to move the date. So maybe, you know, so then at that point, Megan, you know, it makes sense. It's not really her fault. I know. It does make that sense. That one's on us. So we'll try to get her back for next week. We do have a uh, a huge up-and-coming country music star on the show today. <laughs> we have a guy named Connor Stevens, huge up-and-coming Country music star. It seems like maybe he has some sort of issue with drinking. I think we're going to try to get into really? that. I hope he brings his guitar. Me too. Is he a guitar? He's got, if he's country, he plays he's the a guitar. Yeah. Does he have a cowboy hat? And I think he brought me some Adderall. Really? I think so. I'm <laughs> kidding, Erica. Erica hates it when I take Adderall. <laughs> she hates it. I'll take that Adderall and I will play he's my mean. balloons game on my phone and I'll be mean as shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be so, mean as shit. Wait a minute. He's so That's, irritable, and yeah, I have a what's punchy bag? And I'm like, you're not doing. Yeah, what is that. it hot in here? <laughs> what is it cold in here? <laughs> so you do Adderall just to play a video game on your phone? <laughs> yeah, I play, and then I'm gonna write and do all this stuff, and I end up just playing this game on my <laughs> fucking phone, and I can't stop. I was playing that game earlier today. I'm horribly addicted. I have to stop. It's taking up all of my time. <laughs> yeah. Is there a way you can, uh, you know, monetize it, or you, can you ever become the world's greatest balloon video <laughs> balloon gamer? I don't know. There's a couple people on YouTube who have <laughs> YouTube channels on how to beat the certain levels, mm-hmm. and they get a bunch of views on that. Maybe you can do that. Oh, I think we could definitely watch you play this game at some point. That might be kind of fun. I know it, it could be hours. You could do an app. 15 hour stream easy. Just playing that, not saying anything, just tapping <laughs> my Twitch channel on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just yeah. screaming at it. <laughs> Look, there's some Adderall in there, right? Did you ever take Adderall? Oh, yeah. Do you like it? 
Yeah, I like Adderall. It's okay. Do you take I don't it often? do it that I don't do it that much anymore. I'm 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 dialing back all the stimulants because I'm in my fifties and it's could be weird for time, your heart or yeah, something. Yeah, it's time to just you know. Yeah, now I get it. My, it it ran the race, you know what I mean? Like time to take yeah. it a little bit easier. Plus, I only moved to Austin a little while ago, so I need to find an Adderall to... connection. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be here today. <laughs> Grant, do you take Adderall? I've never tried it. Oh my gosh, have you really not? No. How come? Have you heard about it? I don't know. Am I missing out? Have you heard? You've heard of it, haven't you? Yes, I've heard of Adderall. Does Why it? haven't you ever taken it? You drink beer. Why don't you take Adderall? I don't. I don't know. I'm not hanging out with the right people. <laughs> it sounds like maybe you're not. The guy here today, I think, probably could sell you some if you want some. Maybe. That could be a fun <laughs> part of the episode. We just each take an Adderall and see what happens and in here. Play video games on our phones. <laughs> start cleaning up in here. That I'll could be clean great. up a bunch. Doesn't, it's kind of fun. I'll start sweating. My hands get all sweaty. Doesn't Grant sound like Mike? Yes. Yeah. Are y'all related or? It's it's actually Mike. He's back. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's that that like just Mike. sounded like it Mike. Sounded... I hadn't thought that it does. That sounded just like Mike. It might be Mike. This might be a whole scam. We never Did something happened. Yeah. Here's the thing. We never get to actually see who's in the control booth. Say something else. Uh, this is Mike. I talk softly like this. That kind of mm. didn't. Okay, I don't know. That sounded just like Mike. I don't sound like Mike. I don't sound anything like that guy. That sounded just... Is that Mike? Is there some sort of a weird deal going on here right now? Uh, this is ridiculous. It sounds just like Mike. I say we storm the control booth. We find out what the fuck is going on in there. Seriously. It's time for an insurrection. I'm locking the doors. That sounded just like Mike. That's what Mike would have said. Yeah, and he would have said that. His dumb ass would have fucking told. He would have totally said that. Ask him his favorite color pill. What's your favorite color pill? Uh, I generally like a tannish orange. Mm. Uh, yeah, he would have said Not blue. Mike. He would have said blue pills. He likes the blue ones. His favorite color pills are blue. <laughs> oh, for the boners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does love his boners. <laughs> or Mike. And also the, uh, what are those called? The Oxycontins. Those are blue. I think those are. See, blue. I've never done that. I've I've never been an opioid person at all. I don't like the the like downs. You know what I mean? Like I don't. It always scared I don't like me to, to go death. more down. I always liked any sort of stimulant. That was more my game. So yeah, it always scared me. I remember one time in lucky college. Lucky in that regard. Yeah, that kills everybody. Mm -hmm. I remember one time in college, I was all drunk at some house party, and they had a nitrous tank in the bathtub, because I guess if you're doing a lot, dispensing <laughs> a lot of nitrous, it gets, uh, the thing gets all cold. <laughs> but somebody had an oxy pill and crushed it up, and I remember snorting a little of it, and I ended up outside in the gravel driveway and just laying down. <laughs> <laughs> This is why your dad was worried about you when he thought you were in an underwater yeah. cavern because it's yeah. plausible. God, I just passed out on the gravel. Luckily, I was too fucked up to like enjoy it or whatever. <laughs> that was the only time I took it. But yeah, I would take pills sometimes, and it always scared me. I was always like, if I go to sleep right now, I'm not going to wake up. Uh -huh. Something about it always scared my ass. Good. I drink the syrup stuff one time. You ever do syrup? Zerp? Yeah. Have you ever done that? Uh-uh. Man, I drank like a ounce of that and a sprite in like senior year of high school some buddy's parents apartment downtown memphis and i drank like two bud lights and i just had to stop drinking the bud light i was fucked up and it scared me not in a fun kind of way just sitting around feeling fucked up <laughs> yeah and i'm a little it might be fun for the airplane i might we might take some edibles today but there have been times i've had total panic attacks you got to get that dosage just right yeah for the edibles like yeah. 10 milligrams i can do and feel all right but anymore i start getting my heart yeah. starts going weird i think i'm dying yeah i've had that i i drove back from uh arizona a couple months ago i was doing some gigs out there and i had a buddy that <clears throat> made some edibles chocolates and he's great he he they were really good yeah but i'm like oh i got like a it's a 14 hour drive 
from Bisbee, Arizona to Austin, Texas. <clears throat> yeah. I've got some time. So I'm like, I'm just going to eat this whole thing and just oh, no. cruise. Gosh. And <clears throat> Gosh. I had a, an existential crisis while driving the car. <laughs> I thought I, I could was, only imagine. I, I was calling people too, but really? not to fuck with them. I was calling them to Say your have them help me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> figure out what was wrong. I was coming apart at the seams, man. Really? It was bad news. Damn. That's scary. I stopped. <clears throat> I was on this weird little highway. Right when it was kicking in, and this uh, it's, it's in the southeastern portion of Arizona, right by the New Mexico border, and you go by this place, so this historical uh, landmark, uh, this is the site of the last Indian battle. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to stop here. And I stopped, and I was looking at it, and there's this big plaque, and it was all about uh, this, and it was all from the you know, uh, American government perspective. It was like, yeah. this is the site when the American heroes arrested the savage Geronimo by <laughs> storming his camp and all this shit. And I was, yeah. I got really sad, Gosh. depressed, you know, and then and then I started questioning everything and where I was. And it seemed like <laughs> there wasn't any people around. It started to come apart and I forgot I'd eaten the edible, you know. Like, oh, I just, really? Had a real bad panic attack, and I just got back in my car and started driving. Damn. <laughs> Calling people on the phone and crying. That sounds horrible. Then it leveled out, and the next six hours of the drive were really good. <laughs> really? You didn't get yeah. tired or anything? No. No, I was all right. But yeah, you got to watch that dosage on yeah. those things. I hate it. I remember one time in Denver, my buddy Tom made some edibles, some brownies. And I ate one, and I ended up on my bed reading the Bible, <laughs> convinced I was dying. Yeah. Just on yeah. my bed reading the Bible, trying to make my last piece. Yep. <laughs> Just trying to make everything squared away before yep. I died. Yep. Hopefully God's only going to see this last five minutes of your life. <laughs> oh, what a good boy. He's reading the Bible on his bed. He's coming right up to heaven, front of the line, past the group. That's like the people in... uh. On death row, they all become religious mm -hmm. at the end, and it's like, well, I guess he's just forgetting about the atrocities. <laughs> the 44 people he murdered. Yeah, right. Yeah, all those rapes. Right. <laughs> it's good. I read this book. And I, I used to look at this. There's a wonderful Texas Department of Justice uh, website, and it gave all the – it showed all the people who have gotten killed in uh, Texas, and it would give their last words, and I always loved reading the last really? words. Really? Oh, it was wonderful. There was a span of time for like a couple of weeks where I would click on everybody and read, and you can read what they did and then read their last words and see oh, their I last meal and that. shit. Probably 95% of them talk about God, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. A couple of people talk about like the Texas Rangers. <laughs> or they were big fans of like the Dallas Cowboys. They were literally like a handful of people That's doing funny. like sports teams. That's funny. Some people don't talk. Other people deny the stuff. Uh -huh. But I always like the people. That's really interesting. I know. I loved it. Because Texas, they'll, they they kill everybody. They don't give a uh, damn. It seems like it. They're like they're they're pretty pro death penalty here. It seems like it. Yeah. And at first, I would read the last words, and sometimes you feel kind of sorry for the people, and then what they did. But then I started reading what they did, and then the last words, and it, mm -hmm. I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Go Cowboys. <laughs> yeah, go Cowboys. <laughs> uh, that's great. Yeah, it was fun. All right, so we got Connor Stevens. Yes, yes. A great uh, up and coming uh, uh, cowboy music star. Exactly. Connor. That's a very traditional country cowboy name, Connor. Connor seems like it for sure. Yeah. Connor yeah. Stevens, it's a classic country uh, music star name. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> I know, neither can I. <laughs> it sounds. I think Mike is back there. Yeah, I think so too. We'll go check it out. We'll get. We'll get to the bottom of this. When we come back, we'll have answers. Wait, you'll drink how many milligrams in a day? Uh, so it's nothing like compared to my guitar player, but. Uh, Cause he's like he's like sober sober, and I'm like, what are weed, you? Weed sober ish, you know. Try to. I I'm did, weed sober. -ish yeah, I'm in as like well. the prevention plan, you know. Like I'm not. What's like, the prevention plan? I try not to do other things, but sometimes you know, things happen. Tell me about it. Actually. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like what and, other uh, kinds of stuff? What are you talking oh, about? Oh man, you know, just like funny paper and and funny guys, fun guys. Um, fun What's guys funny numbers. paper? Acid. LSD. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So and I, but you know, I try not to like do that. That's not that. Those aren't the ones that you do like all the time. You know, unless you right. do for a little bit but then you know. we did right when we met yeah. we were doing acid once a once a week for yeah. like three months yeah man when i was on probation that was when i really <laughs> discovered my love for psychedelics because they didn't show up on drug tests what were you on probation for i got dwi man how drunk were you honestly not that drunk but my brother was in the car and he was like don't drive like an idiot and i'm like oh don't drive like an idiot and like <laughs> did, did you drive like an idiot yeah i like almost fish tail the fucking cop that was undercover like at the end field of mopac light and then i like proceeded to hit like 110 on mopac and got pulled over and I was like, what the fuck are you doing i was like oh, and there was this girl in the car and she's like oh my god i'm under 21 i'm going to jail i was like listen no one's going to jail and i was like i'm totally going to fucking jail and so like damn yeah so. how was jail you don't call your parents, you call the bonds person, the bail bondsman, and you can get out way faster. Did you call your parents at first? The first time. Yeah. How many times have you gone to jail? Twice. Okay, okay. Yeah, so. So you caught the bail bondsman the second yeah, time? Yeah, around the cock, around the, around the cock, around the clock. <laughs> <laughs> wow, jail really had an effect. Yeah. Dude. Dude. <laughs> uh, Soap is slippery. Uh, well, thanks so much for bringing this uh, espresso oh, yeah. drink. And yeah, so 150 milligrams oh. of caffeine, that's like a regular, yeah, that's a little stronger yeah. than a regular cup of coffee, you're saying. Yeah. And so, but I'll, I just because I don't really drink anymore, I just drink, not really, don't really drink. I don't, I haven't had a drink in a couple months now. And so I, I'm like always drinking caffeine. And yeah. So, I started drinking caffeine yeah, when I stopped drinking. Yeah. And like it's just, and because I'm still like pretty early in the phases of like not drinking, and I'm just, I'm just, I put that shit back, and so I'll drink like four anywhere, like where from like four to five cans of like something like that. And oh then, really? But I try not to, but I try not to do too much coffee because it's really acidic. It, what bad for your tummy or something? Yeah, it's bad for your tum tum. And I, <laughs> yeah, and I honestly, they said, hold on, look at what he put on the background in that fun. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I look behind me. I'm like, oh, shit, it's really there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you're knocking back like four cans a day. Yeah, and then like if we end up doing, you know, like if we're if I ever go to a gig or the yeah. gig or anything, then I'm drinking like four Red Bulls too because I'm like not the guy. I mean. I I will drink just water, but it's like also yeah. if there's not anything sparkling there, then I'm like, all right, you know, like a lot of bars on the east side run out of te like Topo Chico and shit like that, and so. Are you a sparkling water fan? Oh, I'm a, yeah, it's a virtue. Real 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 plants, real virtue. This stuff is really good. Uh, I love sparkling water. So everybody wants to know, what did you eat for breakfast today? Dude, I had. A uh, fizzy tea, which okay. had 75 milligrams caffeine, one okay. of those, and now I'm on this. I usually so you've eat... had a bunch of caffeine for breakfast. You didn't have any food or anything. Well, I eat really late. I have a fucked up uh, eating and sleeping schedule, so I just uh, eat really, really late, like right before I go to bed, which is like super What'd you healthy. eat last night? <laughs> <laughs> that is such an awesome question. Man. What time was it? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, like definitely around the 420 time. Oh, cool. Like, actually, though, because I, yeah, I got home super late and was just, like, smoking, hanging out in the garage with my brother. He has cool. a little workshop there, and so he makes... What does he work on? Art. And he just, like... Oh, cool. Yeah, so he makes, like, wood, like, art shit, and then he'll, like, put it, code in an epoxy. So and what were y'all so, eating last night? Dude, I think I ended up doing some... Oh, that's right. Well, <laughs> I got a bunch of shit from Crowbar like right before they closed. And so that was just like... I got fries with beer cheese and then these toast toasted raviolis, but they totally looked fried. But they were they were good. <laughs> and except... What's the difference between a toasted and a fried ravioli? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you thought it was toasted, but it ended up fried, or well, the other like, way around? It was like, I mean, it's like a, it was a pizza place, supposedly. <laughs> but I had their pizza, and like, not 
awesome. Like the, it tasted yeah. like Domino's pizza before they fixed their crust, and their crust still isn't. I really forget that. about yeah, that. You remember, you remember, remember the dark ages? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that shit was tough, dude. <laughs> William, let's introduce our guest. Yeah, so this is uh, Connor Stevens, uh, up and coming country music singer. Thank you. Yeah, here so in Austin. Here. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming here. Oh, of course, of course. Um, yeah, so I play, I play country music. I'm a singer, songwriter. Um, been doing it since I was like 14. It was when I picked up guitar and taught myself how to play off YouTube videos never got a, a lesson in my life i tried to go to a jazz lesson one time i was like i'm gonna be technical and like go to college for this and then i was like no i'm fucking not like, so the youtube videos worked i mean more or less i mean i'm not like i wouldn't consider myself an awesome guitar player but i do take a lot more pride in like my songwriting um like my guitar totally. player who I'm, there's some people like some of my friends are super talented and they can like write incredible songs and then also just like shred but i'm not I write good rhythm parts, but I'm definitely, definitely more of a song or a song songwriter and a singer and stuff. So. Connor, how old are you now? I'm 25. 25. Right now, so yeah. you've been playing guitar for 11 years. Right around there, yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe in your 12th year, you'll learn to bring your guitar to the interview, yeah. so you could have played us <laughs> yeah. some songs. Well, all right, yeah. I, well, Instead, he showed up with a grocery sack full of caffeinated full of caffeine. drinks, caffeine, which is yeah. pretty love cool. it. Love it. Also pretty cool. And also, it sounded like Grant. He has never uh, taken Adderall before, and I said maybe you could, maybe you could sell him some in the future or something. <laughs> Who me? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts about it? He had never taken it. Doesn't that seem weird? The guy back there. Oh yeah, the guy back there. Oh, he's never taken it before. I mean, that is just a shame. First of all, is that? I know it's it can it's, be no, a it's, fun it's, deal. Yeah, I mean, I think you know you talk to. The right people and anything is possible. I totally agree with you that know? sentiment. That's so, the Adderall talking. Yeah, it might be. Oh, I guess I missed the other part of what I had for breakfast. So, yeah. what Adderall? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Erica doesn't like it when I take Adderall because I get real mean. Oh, really? Do you get mean at all? Um, I mean, sometimes. Like, I think at first I'm like, I'm gonna be like talkative and outgoing and then i'm like no i'm gonna like sit down and write because i'm on adderall and then if it's like it's like a dog yeah. with a bone and then when someone like comes in and is like hey like i'm like fuck, 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 you <laughs> <laughs> i do realize that i'm in the middle of my like stream of consciousness from <laughs> fingers to computer and they're like dude it's like super fucking loud like that's like me but i'm playing my balloons tower defense six game <laughs> on my phone dude. and then erica walks in and i'm oh. like hold on what's happening here tower defense damn that was do you ever play that i i rem i it has been <clears throat> a minute because I, I, I remember before, I, the first time I ever played it, I was supposed to be taking the tax test, the Texas academic some shit for kids um, test. For taxes? No, was, that was just tax was the uh, oh, uh, acronym. Oh. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Man, I tried to figure out what that word was called the other day, and I couldn't for the life. <laughs> An of acronym? Me. Yeah, and I was just like, I was like, it rhymes with abdomen. Like I just, I couldn't, I could not figure it out. It before. rhymes with abdomen. Yeah, a little bit. It does kind of. Yeah, I agree. And then you know, in a certain, in a certain, <laughs> certain sort of way. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's one of the tower defense tracks. Oh uh, my! Yeah. Dude, I, I love it. I, I love fully it. recommend Balloons Tower I mean, Defense Six, especially when you get to like the whole like nuke bombs. Yeah, because you're facing like 200 balloons. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You got to get those bombs. You got to get some tack shooters. Yeah, and you got to make sure also not that just that you set up at the end because once you because all it's so many. Yeah, you can't just set fucking, up at the end. I agree. Idiots, right, dude. right, that right. Is just straight up like novice shit. I mean, you got to have a panache with it. You know, you got to set them around. First of all. I mean, great presentation is everything. I totally agree. And then also the way that you just, you know. Connor, do you have any recurring nightmares? Yeah, sometimes. Like if about I'm what? Like, I have like a fever dreams. Like of like, I definitely have some. I have this one that like I'm stuck in the middle of a sand dune. This is real. Whoa. And like, but I'm like at the bottom. And then like all of a sudden, like all these people with guns come around me. And they all shoot <laughs> at the same time, but I can't move 
except for in super slow motion and yeah. the, and everything's coming at me in super slow motion and it feels like it lasts forever and then right when they get right there i just wake up damn so that will happen oh. every now and again if i get sick or like so literally yeah. a fever dream yeah yeah i wonder why yeah, you get weird dreams when you get a fever dude that i know it's, it's like your, your body yeah. i don't I get have, it yeah i was gonna say something but i have no fucking yeah i have no honest. idea either yeah I'll have a recurring nightmare where I'm in an elevator filled with people, and then I look at the person across from me, and the elevator shakes, and then the elevator collapses. Oh, my God. It's a scary-ass dream. Are, yeah, no doubt. Same people, different people. It's different people every yeah. time. People you know or just people? No, I don't think normally in yeah. dream. I, yeah, I, I recognize people in dreams sometimes. Yeah. Not that one. It's random people. Or I'll be in an yeah. airplane that crashes. We're actually going on an airplane later today. What kind? Good question. <laughs> I Connor Whoa. have literally never Good question. Ever I don't know. Heard that question asked. <laughs> Seven fifty seven supermax, you know yeah. what it is. <laughs> we're, on a, we're on a biplane. Uh I don't know. That's a good question. But yeah, I'm hoping it does a crash. I mean statistically I think it probably won't. Yeah. Oh, oh, because you're going to uh Sunday at festival. Eureka. 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 We'll see how it goes. Have you ever been to Eureka? How'd you know that? My brother told me. How'd your brother know that? Because he, he's like one of your biggest fans. So like, he's like, Is he really? Yeah, dude. Well, that's sweet. Yeah, we should have gotten cool. your brother in here, too. Dude, that guy is a goon. I'm. I, what do you mean? <laughs> he is like, like <laughs> first of all, like Bobby and all of them, like. They're all like, dude, your brother is way funnier than you. I'm like, thank you so much. And they're like, yeah, he's kind of like cooler than you too. I'm like, thank you so much. Like, so all, all my so, but he never comes around because he sits in his workshop, and doing his art. Yeah, and he also he also makes like all of my like like my logos and flyers and stuff like that. And he cool. does all the designs for my merch, so that's pretty cool. And uh, but yeah, he just sits around there. But everybody's always like, he needs to come around more. And I, I don't know, he just he likes being a. Does he like your music? Um, I think, yeah, I think so. I mean, he, I kind of make him listen to everything that I'm writing. Like, so because, yeah. so I live at home with my parents and so does he. It's, How is that? Yeah. Um, I mean, I am not there often, you know. Um, I'm, Do you have like a curfew? No. no. <laughs> they're like, they're like, no, they're like, they're super cool, but they're also like, yo, don't be like disrespectful to our house and like our sleeping schedule like that's why they're so. out in the garage at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> exactly <laughs> literally exactly it and, see i'm uh, a parent but it's cool yeah. man i mean they are letting <laughs> stay me... in the garage you little yeah. fuckers dude it's... you're all high on adderall and yeah, drunk I get know. out we of got, the house got a couple shop fans go there, work dude. on your art <laughs> yeah no exactly yeah it's great and uh <laughs> No, it's it's cool. So he, I think, I think he likes, he, I think he likes my music. I mean, he and my sister, I think, both like my music a lot. Does and your sister live at home as well? N not anymore. She actually went to college. Um, cool. Yeah. So she was like, but I don't know. She apparently went to Chicago, and then her roommate like fell asleep in the bathtub with the water <laughs> running, and like, did she die? I, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> What happened to her in the bathtub? I don't know. She was like, I just <laughs> fell asleep, and it started overflowing and flooded the entire <gasps> apartment, top third floor. And then she applied to it. The roommate applied to a pizza place downstairs, and it flooded the entire pizza place downstairs. Oh, my and gosh. Did so she get the job? Fuck no. I, there's no <laughs> way she got that job. Uh, and so, and then my sister was like, I hate Chicago. Like, I'm, I'm going to go to Texas A&M. And I'm like, I mean. Is that where she goes now? I don't know. She is. She wrote an essay to go <laughs> to go see if she could get accepted to. So I mean, good. maybe she will. Yeah, I mean, at least she's like doing school shit. Like me and my brother never went to school, just because I was like, what after high school or even yeah, talking yeah about high after school? high school. I mean, even well, I would say like my senior year of high school. I can. I don't know if you could really. Yeah, you can call it school. I mean, it was just at your. <laughs> what own were your grades? With that, your own pace school, awesome because I got to just use textbooks and like. Pages of Wait, notes with, on where, the tests and everything. Was this like a homeschool deal? No, it was, just, it was an alternative learning school called Garza. And it was really cool. It was in East Austin before. Uh, was it like a Montessori school? No, it was like basically like if you got kicked out of like your high school, 
and, and you didn't want to go to like their alternative school, you could go to this at your own. Why'd high you get school. kicked out of high school? Because of the choices that I made at a choir concert. Um, <laughs> what happened at the choir concert? <laughs> you know, like um, so I flooded a bathtub at the dude. Okay, what so, happened? Where does he start? As a lad, <laughs> I had just discovered the um, what I thought were wonders of Xanax, and um, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, so I, t- I did a, I did a little. A little bit of that, and then I ended up like, and keep in mind that Westlake, they like are very like. Is it the high school? Yeah, and they are like in the PAC in front of like twelve hundred people, packed audience. It's the final spring review concert, and it's all two two performances, two nights, and it's all getting filmed. (laughs) And I like go in there, like on the first performance, and I'm just like. Barred like, out, fucked up, dude. And I'm just like, rad. <laughs> and they're like, I'm supposed to play guitar for this girl. And I feel so bad about it to this day because I get on there and it's supposed to be Valerie, but Amy Winehouse, and 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 I'm up there trying to play guitar. I'm just like, and they're like, what in the? Like, <laughs> and they're like, and then like, and then they had somebody else go for, the, and then and then I fell off the rafters. On oh the, uh, no! Yeah, not the like, yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. That's, that's the actually. Bleachers? Or the yeah, rafters. It, the yeah, not the rafters. The rafters are way the fuck up. The How did ceiling. I get up there? Yeah, no, not the rafters. <laughs> How would you get up there? <laughs> <laughs> you the rafters. No, no, it was on the beaches. Thank you, yeah. And I was like, uh, we, were, we were doing a dance to Uptown Girl by Billy Joel. And I just, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, so. did you get hurt? No, it was like only three, two or three. No, he was on Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never yeah felt yeah, and then like, yeah, that was not the best time for Did me. Did you get kicked out of school because of that? Pretty much, yeah. It's it's yeah, pretty on point to yeah. uh, fall out uh, during an Amy Winehouse song, yeah. though. You know what I right. mean? That's pretty much dialed in. I right. think. Yeah. You could just so... go with that. Hey, I'm just channeling Amy right now. I know. Exactly. I... <laughs> that was so real. So. <laughs> 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 So you started going to the other school, yeah, and it was, and your grades were good senior year, yeah, because I just got to yeah be able to s- study the way I wanted to study, which was not at all, and I could just use the <laughs> textbooks and tests because I I pretty much realized at junior year I was in, in at Westlake, maybe it was sophomore year I had taken shrooms at school and I was playing lacrosse for like seven years and I was like, I'm gonna go to college and play lacrosse. Yeah. And that was so glad that didn't happen. Uh, and I, uh, one yeah. day at practice was just like, man, like this sucks. Like I'm gonna play music. And so I just like that day I quit and never looked. And that right. day you were on mushrooms or that happened yeah. before the mushrooms? Yeah. After the mushrooms. After the mushrooms. But Damn. yeah. So that was, yeah, that was like the piv- That was like the day that I realized that I was going to do music for the rest of my life. I was like, that's why they should legalize mushrooms. Stories yes. like that. Well, yeah, exactly. For real. <laughs> like I was like such that. a little shit, dude. Like the lacrosse guy with the man, and I was and I was all that, you know, and then I, and then I don't know. I found myself through music. <laughs> oh, nice, so that's sweet. great. Yeah, that's no, great. I found myself through mushrooms. And that was it was it, no, it was it was it was a blast. It was and Westlake was a good time, but all, uh, you know, alternative school was great. My math I'm really bad at math and my math teacher was the also, we didn't have any extracurriculars because there was only like maybe like 50 students yeah. enrolled in this. What was y'all's mascot? Dude, the Griffins, the Garza Griffins. What is that, like a bird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a predator, like an like a, like a aerial predator, I believe. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of a Griffin. Most I birds think. are aerial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, except for the ones that aren't. Ostriches. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, an ostrich. Oh, is that a griffin right there that he put? Oh, I love that. I think griffins are mythical <laughs> because it has a tail and oh, yeah. lion legs. Yeah, and look he, at that. Yeah. It doesn't look yeah, like a real yeah. animal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Dude. Oh, man. But those are good times. My math teacher was the, yeah. He yeah, was it looks like somebody chest. on mushrooms drew the mascot. Like, I got it all figured out, Full guys. Circle. Eagle head, pterodactyl wings. Lion legs. <laughs> Lion legs. I love it. What kind of tail is that? Bobcat. Bobcat tail. <laughs> <laughs> bobcat tail. Wait, is a bobcat tail long or like a little thing? No, we'll see. I think I honestly I think the artist I, like a bo- I think the artist took a little bit of creative direction. Me too. Here, he should not have 
<laughs> I always <laughs> like the bobcat's ears. They're kind of pointy looking. Yes. Yeah, and they're kind of like, yeah, they're little like, what is it called? A right <laughs> triangle on the top of the mouth. You know, yeah, 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 degree, it's like a, a triangle. degree angle, yeah. Um, Your math mom, teacher would be proud. You're bringing Mr. up Kapasi, right triangle. What's it? What's his um, name? Mr. Kapasi. Monsoor Mr. Kapasi. Kapasi. Yeah. He would let me play music while I was. Monsoor Kapasi. Yeah, the man. Is that what people called him? Uh, some people called him Monsoor, and, I, and he would be like, "Don't do that." Uh, you is know, he like, French? Monsoor Kapasi no, is my father. <laughs> yeah, and dude. No, I I think he is of like the kind of like. Indian, oh okay, Indian. okay, but yeah, super cool dude. He let me like play chess, and I learned how to juggle. Um, oh, cool! He was the the coach of the juggling society that we had. There. There's a juggling society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. They had the only extracurriculars was was our chess team, and then we had a juggling society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's funny. Oh, dude, was... This wasn't a real school. <laughs> they this is something they did for Connor because he got kicked out of school. They're like, well, we'll just tell him he's in school. They made up a mascot. It's a lion. It's an eagle. <laughs> oh, he's in a he's on the juggling team. This was all just uh, something to keep him out of jail. I mean, not it didn't work, yeah, but. No, it didn't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Wait, so outside you were talking about somebody Johnny sponsoring. Bitcoin? Yeah, who's Johnny Bitcoin? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, back. Yeah, totally back. Who's back that? Yeah, on the music topic. So I'm going into the studio to record a new album on the 17th. So that's cool. Not this coming week, but the week after. Yep. And so uh, we go for a full week and we're going to record a full album, get it pressed on vinyl. And cool. um, I was, you know, going into this whole thing, I was like, first off, I was like, man, I don't have the kind of money right now to be able yeah. to fund this kind of thing. And then, like, you know, you always have people that, like, in this kind of industry, I feel like in anything with arts, people are like, well, we want to sponsor you or we want to fund you or we want what can we do to help and, and you know and be like, oh, and it's, it could be a simple introduction We're like we got this for you blah 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 and it just doesn't happen because it's like a lot of times you know not that people are fake but it's like people get drunk and shit and are just like get <laughs> fucked up and they're like do you realize like and then people like especially when people do blow and make all these business deals together <laughs> before like, and then they wake up i've been there like, before yeah, yeah yeah no i know i've Me made too. all kinds of deals yeah, on know. blow yeah i know <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, and like the biggest plans yeah the most yeah i've made the biggest plans on cocaine before dude <laughs> so big uh, like it's yeah. fun making deals on cocaine. I, I love that. I know. Well, I mean, it's, and and it's fun, but then you're also like, all right, you, you learn to just kind of be like, throw a shrug a lot of this stuff off. And so at the party that Tony threw, yeah. I, by the way, I won the golden tits. I think I told Did you that. You? Yeah. Yeah. For the Riddler. Well, you buried the lead. Yeah. There was, <laughs> Should have started there was, with that. There was, uh, was this guy, his, like, it was at his house and his ex girlfriend. I guess because there's a note on the back and it says, I love you, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah. And I'm like, this is. How my. do you spell moi? Moi. Uh, M U A H, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. how I've seen that spelled out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, I always uh, wondered what that was. So that's like a uh, kiss noise. Yeah. yeah. With the mwah. short two. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> we're outside and. Uh, you know, this is back when I was doing cocaine and stuff like that. Yeah. So this is this was what three Tuesday. weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. A couple of, like maybe like maybe like a month and a half ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, I remember. Way back I remember. When. And uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, and so I mean, yeah. So and, you ended up with golden yeah, bosoms. So I'm I'm playing I'm playing guitar just like fucked up outside. Everybody's fucked up, and I'm just like on a just on one and i'm yeah. not singing that great but we're, we're just having a good time yeah. and then like somebody's like yo like johnny bitcoin's coming over from next door <laughs> from next, <laughs> from and I'm next like, door yeah from next door in the man the mansion right next to this one and i'm like what the fuck is johnny bitcoin <laughs> like and who the fuck like I'm, I'm just like sitting there i'm like dude this i was like i i do not even like I was like, right. yeah, who's Johnny Bitcoin? I'd be thinking Bitcoin. the same so thing. He, Who so is he that? Comes, so he and these two other guys show up and we're just all just, you know, hanging out and having a good time. And it get, comes to the end of the night and they're like, 
so like you famous i'm like dude literally like no not at all like i'm like i was like no one really knows who like i am and that's like and that's okay like that's just how it is for right now and i and i'm yeah. hoping it's not forever but you know you know yeah. i'm thinking about that and they're like well what do you need i was like i mean i have all the resources and like the tools to as if i had the financial access to these tools i could do literally whatever mm -hmm. i wanted in terms of like getting into a studio because when i was saying i'm a songwriter i had of these 10 songs for the record, I had to choose between 47 songs that were yeah. written, that wrote in a year and a half. And like, and they were all like good to record. Um, and so that's, you know, that's a lot of, a lot of songs and it's like, but it's also a lot of money to get into a studio. And they were like, I was like, I, I put out a number and they were like, okay. I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, no, like we're, well, we just want to, we, we like your music and uh, we want to be able to like help you get to that next spot. So I was like, how's this even going to happen? They're like, well, Hence the name Bitcoin, you know, they're cryptocurrency trading stuff. And like, so how do you actually get the money out of the Bitcoins? Um, that's like, you have to do, you have to download like all these apps and then like these certain apps and transfers, like take money out of it. And then you can deposit. Do you it. have those on your phone? Yeah. Is it complicated? Um, it's called like, I mean, I don't know. Cause like there's a, you have to do the website for this thing. It's called Bitcloud is the web is the, is the website and the coin they created. And it's basically okay. people can go and. Basically, you're taking a bet on buying into someone's creating, like a creator coin. So I have my own coin, Connor Stevens coin. You have a coin? Yeah, through this website. And so people will buy into it. And then on this website, you can then transfer, when you want to sell your coin, you can sell it for their coin. And then that company coin is on the other trading apps. And then you can trade that to... Um, that seems different. real complicated. Dude, it took me so oh my gosh. long to figure it out. And then it's just like, what? But they, so you're um, getting some money from it, though. And, so I, and I was able to pay. Yeah, I'm, I'm paying for a full album, funding a full album. Cool. Um, and they were just like, they were just like, we, we're doing this on the fact that we just want to help you out. You know, like we want to see you succeed. And, I'm, and to hear that and to see it like kind of somebody also do something at the same time you know instead of it just being like one of these because I, right. I was i was a hundred percent positive it was going to be a drunken night stupor conversation and i would never hear from is that when he again. made the deal at the party he was like yeah i mean I, he was like we'll set up a meeting and then it was actually one of his friends named jeff shout outs to jeff because jeff has been the one kind of helping me through all this and uh they created this 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 like this whole platform and everything and because of that they just like have been able to invest in cool and and this type of stuff and so it's just a, a huge blessing but um yeah i mean it's 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 pretty cool so i uh, how I'm often in, do you talk to the johnny guy do you um, talk on the phone often no i don't have mr bitcoin's number um oh really no i only how come to, um i don't know i think he's you know like how old is the guy I mean, <laughs> how old is Tom Brady? <laughs> you know, like... Well, good question. You know, how old is saying. Tom Brady? Probably, dude, 43. 43. 43, yeah. So he's maybe yeah. around there. I think. Yeah, so Mr. Bitcoin's <laughs> probably... Mr. Coin is probably <laughs> around like 35, maybe 37. What does he look like? Nobody cute. knows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's uh, I mean, he... I I don't mean it in any negative way, but I think he looks like he does like cryptocurrency. But like in the and <laughs> mm -hmm. the I don't know. I mean, he just uh, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, so just... I mean, these guys are characters. I mean, it's like you know, you meet. I think a lot of people that I meet is just happen to be characters and and of like you right. think about them, and it's like I mean, you got to be having some style and swag if you're gonna like announce yourself to everyone as Johnny Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And I like and I was like, what's your name? And he was like, Johnny Bitcoin. I was like, all right, what's your name? And he was like, Johnny Bitcoin. I was like, That's crazy he was bad, given dude. that name before Bitcoin even became a thing. I'm sure he was excited when Bitcoin became a thing since that's his last name. You know what so I bad. mean? Yeah. That's like, crazy. Uh, yeah, that yeah. So <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That'd be funny if his parents uh, named him that. And then yeah, Bitcoin was, yeah. became a thing. Oh my gosh! Do you think they had like an investment on him? Good, like a Bitcoin investment. Yeah. Wait. So, do you think these people are gonna like ask for the money back, or you think it's dangerous what no. you're doing at all? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, uh, you don't. Uh, 
Tick, do you know, uh, what is it? What's the saying? You don't look at a free horse's teeth, right? You don't look so, a gift horse in the mouth. Fucking right. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of close. I mean, yeah, close, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you know. Wait, what did both of y'all say again? What did you um, say at first? You don't look. You don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. Okay, I had heard that uh, recently. I didn't I know exactly what it meant. Because uh, it, uh, you uh, can you can tell a uh, horse's health by its teeth somewhat. I'm not a horse person, so I don't know. Uh, so if someone's giving you a horse, you don't go, oh, it's like, you know, it's like if someone gives you a car, you wouldn't be like, oh, the upholstery shit, and uh, you know, it needs uh -huh. a paint job. I That's see, essentially I see. There's some horse teeth up there. See? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, oh my gosh yo that is so hard. looks a little more yeah it looks hilarious. a little more donkey-ish than horse-ish but what do i know what was that famous horse name mr ed wasn't there a famous mm -hmm. mr ed oh, he was a talking uh, he was a talking horse he was a talking horse wow. mr ed do you remember him that was from back in the day i think it was black and white yeah. show horses don't yeah. talk anymore <laughs> they don't talk anymore. I wondered what happened with that. That seems weird. They probably said some shit they weren't supposed to say. You Could know? have. And how do you make glue out of horses? Yo, okay, is that? Is <laughs> yeah, that? Hold on. Okay, do how you, do you? I think it's like when you like. I mean, I I don't I would have no idea, but I'm just gonna go ahead and gamble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when you get like the lard out of like the dead fat and like meat process mm -hmm. that maybe that's how you could do it that would make sense no and like gelatin or some shit like that yeah because there's yeah. gelatin from horses is yeah. it there yeah yeah that's pretty cool we need to look that up yeah i wish uh grant grant knew do you know how to make it grant yeah it comes from uh horse hoofs he right? sounds just like oh. mike <laughs> sounds just like mike, mike. We normally we have been having a guy named Mike back there, and now Mike is a. I'm not going to say that day. something. Yeah, yeah something he's in happened. a sleeping bag. He's wrapped up in a sleeping. He's in bag a sleeping today. bag, and now, but yeah, now you're stuck uh, with Grant. Huh? What were you saying? Horse hoofs. Horse hooves. <laughs> a horse hoof. There's a gelatin uh, material in horse hoofs that could both can make gelatin and glue. Interesting. So it's from the hooves. Cool. That's yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's cool. No, yeah, no idea. Horse hooves. People horse hooves. ask me all the time if I ride horses, and I'm like, Have you I'm... ever ridden on one? <laughs> uh, yeah. I think when I got sent away to wilderness camp, I definitely had to ride a horse. When did you get sent away to wilderness? <laughs> what after happened? Like incident. Oh, after yeah, all yeah. the bad kids. Yeah, yeah. So I remember because my old, my family, like my good family friend. They're like, oh, like send them to this camp and call like blah 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 blah. And yeah. it was like not a rehab. It was like they were like we. Just I've heard of the wilderness camps. Yeah, before. but it was one that was like everybody like loved like being in the wilderness and everybody's super like about like climbing and all this shit. And it was some shit that they loved to do. And I'm like, and they're like, so you're new here, like, what's your story? And I was like, I don't want to be here, and I wish I was high. And yeah, were like, oh. I just want to juggle. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, we've got the place for you, dude. Juggling Xanax. school, dude. Yeah, I know. I used to and like Xanax. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing to like have used to like. You know, it is. That's like this. that's well put. I've never thought of it that. Yeah, way. right. And it's yeah, it's a good thing that that's something that's like I used to like that because I mean you've been there. Also, you had it in its good days. These days, you never know unless you're getting it from a doctor. Kill you now. Yeah. Well, so, Connor. I think we have to end this. Uh, oh, it's yeah. Been, it's been a great pleasure. We need to have you back sometime. Yeah, I really yeah. need to get to ask how he ended up going to work a day early. Yeah, wait. So you got, I don't, you talked about it outside a little. It sounds like, unfortunately, something happened with your newest job. And then I had uh, heard yeah. a story. What, you showed up to work a day early? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Normally, no. it's like a day no. late or something. <laughs> On. How does that even happen? No, I was on. I was already on the schedule. I just didn't look at it, and I am. Um, uh, and I went in on Sunday, and they were yeah. like, "You're not supposed to be here." And I was like, literally, I literally looked at them, and I go, "All right, I'm gonna eat this Hatch chili burger in front of y'all, dance around, and then I'm gonna leave because that sucks for y'all that you have to work." Um, and then I did that, left, yeah. and then they were like, "But be here tomorrow. You're here at 11." I'm like, "Okay." 
deep, dude. Come on. You know, like, I was, and I looked at my boss. I was like, better this than me being late. Am I right? And I'm figuring right. He was like, yep, don't be late tomorrow. I was like, you got it. And then I was like, it was like two. I woke up. <laughs> so you were late. The and, uh, and and right the day before, they had a conversation. <laughs> they had a conversation like, if you're going to be more than 20 minutes, you might as well not show up. So then at that point, I just was like, all right, well, I'm just not even going to go in because I'm yeah. going to get yelled at and yeah, you know, I don't like crying, so like, <laughs> you know. he only cries in his country songs, dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But no, um, yeah, and so then I just uh, got fired, and you well, know, you'll figure something else yeah. out. And at least you have Johnny Bitcoin yeah, funding yeah. your project. Yeah. That's all positive. And and this is like, you know, this is gonna be what's like propelling, gonna probably have like have the biggest effect on my career for the next year and a half or whatever, how long it is until I put out another record. And so it's like so super blessed because that's also how I'm gonna be hopefully coming to be making on my money and I won't have to have a day totally. job. So what before we get off, what's the name of your album? Do you know it yet? This one, I that dude, I was I've been thinking about this for like a week because somebody asked me that and I was like, that is a fantastic question. And I have no idea. Um it's probably gonna be You should do whatever. like a Shell Silverstein title like a light in the attic. Yeah, like or I was, yo, I was ends. thinking like something that's like not even related to like any of the song titles, like you know what that I mean. It could be fun because like you know you hear like an album, or one of my favorite country albums, like that has been released in the past like ten years is a Sturgill Simpson record called Meta Modern Sounds in Country Music, and not interesting. Yeah, and so it's like so yeah, dude, Shel Silverstein. Oh wait, no, that's Roll Doll. His shit got bought by Netflix. <laughs> yeah, Roll Doll, like him. All right. All right. Great to talk to yeah, you. Thank you so much for having me. It, it was been fun. An absolute blast. Yeah. And good luck it, with man. the album. That all dude. sounds exciting. Yeah, and then whenever that comes out and everything, I would yeah, I would love to come back and bring y'all a copy of the record. Totally. And and the and the first record that I was telling y'all about and stuff like for sure. that. So um awesome. Well, thanks so much, guys. I really, really appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, it was a great time. We'll thank everybody uh, for watching this week's episode. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.